Hey kids, you do you own a Nintendo 64? Yeah. You want to learn how to hook it up? Yeah. Well, you're not going to learn it. I can't help you. I'm sorry. I'm only kidding. Yay. Shut up. Now, here's what you need to hook up your Nintendo 64. Here's what you're going to need. A friggin' Nintendo 64, of course. A controller to play the game. Its own uh, plug-in source. And the multi-AV out. And this one's the stereo. This one, this cable can be used for the N64, GameCube, or the Super Nintendo. Let's hook it up. Okay, so we're going to the back of the system. First on. Now, there are two empty slots. This is the multi-AV out, and this is the plug-in source. Let's grab our plug-in source first. It's friggin' big. And look at that plug. Why do we need all this? Because it powers it on. You need a lot for a 64-bit system. That's why it's called Nintendo 64. Plug it in like so. Freaking get in there! Oh my god! Sorry about that. Anyways, let's get our multi AB out. Get this untangled. Okay, so you're gonna plug this end into this end. Now that wasn't too hard. Now, go to the front of the system. Let, us, let me show you how to plug this stuff in. Here's where you plug in these. Now, the yellow goes into the yellow, the white goes into the white, and the red goes into the red. I can't show you since this is cables to my VCR and that's what I'm using to record this video. So yeah, uh, but you'd put the yellow into the yellow, red, I mean, white into the white, uh, red into the red. That's how you hook up the AV. Alright, now we're, that we're done with that, let's, let me tell you how to plug it in. Here's the plug-in. Let me show you where to plug it in. You gotta plug it into an outlet, or as you would call, a plug-in. You do it like so. What, what the heck? Okay, L let me show you again. Okay, so, plug this into there. <laughs> now we need to get the controller. Get bring it. Get it. Oh my god. Okay, so get your little controller input. If you're playing dang it. If you're playing by yourself, plug it into the first port. If you're playing with a second player, get a second controller, plug it into this port. If you're playing with three people, plug the third controller into this port. If you're playing with four people, my god, that's a party. Uh Plug it into the fourth port. All the controllers inputs will be on all four things if you're depending on how many people you're playing with. Now all we need is a game. Of course, it's on the bean bag. Pokemon Stadium. Awesome game.
Okay, so put your game into there. If the game does not work for you, either blow in the cartridge, swallow your spit first, or just clean it with rubbing alcohol and uh, Q tips. Uh, if you want to learn how to do that, check out my video on YouTube. It's how to clean an NES or an Atari game. That's what the video is called. Look it up on YouTube. It'll have my face on it. And an NES game. Okay, so. Now all we need to do is turn the system on. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, turns out you need to do this thing. And then you have your red LED light indicating that it's on. Now, we're ready to play. But for a game like this, you're going to need something on the back of the controller. Let me get it. Remove my Halloween candy. Okay, so for this game, we're going to need the N64 transfer pack. Play down the back of your system like so. Oh yeah, for also for this game, we also need one more thing attached in here. A Game Boy game. Let me get it. Pokemon Blue. Awesome. Oh, dang it. Hang on. Okay, so now you're ready to play Pokemon Stadium. Now, for other games, you might need other accessories. Such as a, a, a rumble pack, which needs batteries, or a memory expansion that goes in here. And here's the reset button just in case. Okay, so that is all you need to um, set up an N64. I hope you have fun with it. Now, <coughs> let me turn this system off. If you need any more help with Nintendo products, call this number 1-800-255-3700. That's 1-800-255-3700. Write that down so you can remember. Alright, that's it. Bye-bye. Ah, -bye. Oh, crap. Yoshi, what did you do? I don't... Oh, yeah. I forgot one more thing. This is for the controller. Now, if you need to put anything if you need to take anything out of this part lift this lever and then still lifting the lever or whatever it is pull the accessory out like so okay bye man this freaking joystick sucks